have you, Illuminators. In today's lesson, we are going to cover the number one cause of death for self-mastery, the comfort zone. Most people spend the majority of their lives in their comfort zone. Now, we are not these people. We are world illuminators. We are intentionally seeking out truth and expansion. And we know that that can be very uncomfortable at times and then just moderately uncomfortable the rest of the time. You likely already have experience with discomfort, but I encourage you to hang out for today's lesson anyway. You never know, you might pick up something new and if it makes you uncomfortable to sit through topics you think you already know about, then great, you will have a chance to practice literally sitting in discomfort today as we talk about discomfort. The brain always comes back to the brain. The brain wants you to be comfortable, not because it's nice and cushy, but because it's safe. Even if the situation itself is not that great, we can become comfortable in it because it becomes our norm and the brain likes it because you're alive. Why risk going out of being the space where you're alive right now? You've heard the saying, the better of two evils, right? So the idea with that is, well, this isn't super great, but that other thing might be worse. So let's just stay where we are, or let's just keep this job or keep this partner or keep this public official, because who knows, the other thing might be worse. So we don't go outside of the comfort zone. How am I gonna do if I'm outside of the comfort zone? I know how I operate here. I know that I can succeed to some extent here, and if I go out there, I don't know what will happen. And that is scary. So I, I don't mean to downplay any of these things. We want to be alive. That's why we're here. That's why we came into the three-dimensional space so we could be alive as humans and go through these things. I'm, I'm happy that my brain does so much to keep me alive. And of course, there is an appropriate time and place to be in the comfort zone. You gotta be in the comfort zone. You can't be outside the comfort zone all the time. It's not helpful at all. The biggest problem with the comfort zone is that growth doesn't happen there. They call them growing pains for a reason. They're uncomfortable. The body or mind or spirit is going through a transformation. It's transmuting into something new and that isn't an easy process. So it doesn't feel great. But the thing is, without that, we don't really grow. And it's not that we necessarily grow from discomfort, as that it's discomfort just comes with growing. It's a chicken and the egg scenario. Uh, though, fun fact about chickens and eggs, they have for a long time now been able to watch the process inside the egg as it is becoming a chick. And they have found that there's a heartbeat before there's a heart. And then the heart is created and picks up the heartbeat. Pretty cool. What comes first? Who knows? It's all energy doing its magical thing to create life on earth. Tangential, but I think that's really, really interesting. Maybe that's a new thing you just learned. Aren't you so glad that you hung around and you, you stuck with us for this lesson? So let's get into it. Let's take a look at the comfort zone, the discomfort zone, and where we do our best learning. So This is our comfort zone, and it's intentionally made small because, in truth, when we are talking about infinite possibilities, infinite potential that make up a human life, the comfort zone actually is really, really small. 
that's one of the problems of staying in the comfort zone. We just don't experience very much in there. But wait, there's a catch, and we're gonna get to that later. So outside of the comfort zone is the discomfort zone, which is this whole space. I'm not even gonna draw on it because it's just everything else outside of that. Now, once upon a time, in a different life, uh, a different version of Jace, I thought, okay, discomfort. That's where we learn. Discomfort helps with growth. And I have a mission to grow and I want to grow faster. And so I'm going to make myself really uncomfortable. And so I was hanging out out here thinking that that if I was that uncomfortable, I must be learning a lot and I must be growing really fast. That's not what was happening at all. In fact, growth doesn't happen out here. This is too uncomfortable and then the brain sets in restrictions to protect us because that's too far. Where we learn best, is right here. If I could, I would draw this person leaning against the comfort zone like the Marlboro Man back in the day, minus the cigarette. Uh, but right here on the border of our comfort zone and our discomfort zone, that's where learning really takes place. It's not slacking off. It isn't a manner of not being tough enough. Like I used to have to be so macho. Look how much discomfort I can stand. Um, hooray, I can be really uncomfortable. Cool. Like I don't know what my plan was there, but that's not helping the situation at all. This will give you much better return on investment than this out here. So here's the catch of what I was talking about earlier. So the longer we hang out here, the more it becomes comfortable. And our comfort zone has just expanded. Now, when we're in here, we don't feel uncomfortable anymore after a while, which means that it's time to move out a little bit further. And that means stepping into new challenges, new spaces, new people, new ideas, bigger ponds, bigger fish, new areas of potential for you, fantastic new adventures happen, again, just outside the comfort zone. And you guessed it. The longer you hang out here, the more comfortable you become and your comfort zone expands. Just like with change, and if you haven't watched the lesson on change, check that one out. Just like with change, expanding the comfort zone happens best in small increments practiced consistently over time. Ah, practiced. Do we practice discomfort? Yeah, we do. As illuminators, we intentionally place ourselves just on the border of our comfort zones so that we are able to be stretching, always stretching. We can't expand if we haven't stretched. So we wouldn't just run a marathon without stretching, right? It would tear our muscles to shreds. So to expand, we actually stretch into our discomfort zone so that we're able to open up more access to our true potential. And the only way to do that is to intentionally practice discomfort. Now, being alive, you're gonna organically find yourself in uncomfortable situations as well. That's great, be intentional in them. When they come up, maybe you're in an uncomfortable conversation or you've been given a new role at work that you don't feel ready for or you are 
leaving a situation. Maybe you need to depart from a certain group of friends, uh, like we talked about in the lesson on your tribe. That is uncomfortable. <laughs> Recognize that. So be in that state of conscious awareness where you can go, I am experiencing discomfort right now. Let me observe this and lean into it. Find spaces to stretch into so I can use this to the best of my benefit. If you can do that, you'll find you're never losing. Again, everything in life will become a win-win. If you can get comfortable with discomfort, and let me tell you, you're gonna have to, on this path to self-mastery, this path to illumination, you're gonna have to get comfortable with discomfort. And when you do, you will be the most terrifying person in the room because you know how to sit in discomfort. You have a practice of it. It's habitual for you. So when that situation comes, like maybe you're negotiating a new rate at a job. I remember doing this years ago and I was so accustomed to being uncomfortable that though I was panicking inside and feeling really anxious inside when I was negotiating with my employer at the time, I was able to sit quietly in the discomfort after I had proposed my side of the negotiation and wait. And boy, did she get weird. <laughs> she started saying the weirdest stuff just to fill the space. And eventually I got exactly what I was asking for, not because I'm a killer negotiator, but because I was able to sit in discomfort longer than she was. So seek out those situations or use the ones that are generously given to you in life so you can stretch. You will become really limber with all of that stretching that soon you'll find if you keep practicing, all of a sudden, this is your comfort zone all the way out here. Oh no, that's not bright enough. You can't see it. I bet you already knew where I was going with that though. Now this is your comfort zone. Think about how much fun you can have, how much you can learn, how many people you can meet, how many places you can visit, how many ideas you can explore, how many adventures you can go on when your comfort zone is this big. The more you practice discomfort, the harder it gets to find situations that are uncomfortable for you to stretch into. In time, your discomfort zone becomes almost non-existent and you have to go out of your way, well out of your way to find things that make you uncomfortable so you can continue expanding. And if you already have a discomfort practice in place, I encourage you to get really creative and seek out those things that can help you stay limber on your path to illumination. Some things that were really helpful for me were hanging out with people who scared the heck out of me. Finding people who intimidate us and getting to know them is one really, really interesting way to practice discomfort. Now, they didn't scare me because they were like knifing people around me. I just was intimidated by them. I thought they had something that I didn't have. They were smarter than me, prettier than me, more fashionable than me, more successful than me, richer than me, like whatever it was. And it was uncomfortable because I felt less than. Now, of course, that was a lie because we are all equal in our perfection and magnitude, but I felt less than. And so it was uncomfortable to hang out with them. And that was a really great way for me to stretch and build my tribe with big fish. So that is something that was really helpful to me. The most impactful thing for me was my challenge a day for a year that I did many, many years ago as a way to, to get really, really flexible with my discomfort. So every day for a year, I picked a new challenge and they were small things. I am a little bit more on the introvert side of the spectrum. Um, most people don't believe that since I'm a speaker and facilitator and I work with the public, but I really am naturally more on that introverted side. And I used to be very uncomfortable talking to people. I had really high social anxiety and depression and all sorts of things. And so being out with people was my worst nightmare. So for me, a challenge a day might be talking to the person next to me in the grocery store 
or holding the door open for someone and making eye contact and smiling. They don't have to be big things. Maybe getting up in front of people freaks you out and that really, really scares you. You could go and do some karaoke with friends of yours and maybe even get a private karaoke room so you don't have to sing your heart out in front of a whole big audience. I'm a terrible singer and I just get out there and wail and I have so much fun because who cares? Because this is my comfort zone now. It's huge. So I, it doesn't bother me, but you could practice things like that. Maybe you haven't been around horses before and big animals kind of freak you out. So you could go volunteer at a therapeutic riding facility or a horse rehabilitation <laughs> space and see about getting in contact with animals in a safe way. You could stretch that way. You could get some dogs. I don't know if you can hear my dogs barking, but uh, you, can, uh, you can hang out at a dog shelter and get to know some pups that way or find things that are just outside of your comfort zone and seek them out intentionally to practice for yourself so that you can expand, not because it's cool, not because it's macho, but because it, on the path to self-mastery, we need as many experiences as possible. And that requires being able to get a lot further than this little space right here. We need to be able to move all the way out here so we can experience what's over here off of the page entirely. So as scary as it might be, it's time to start expanding your comfort zone by intentionally practicing discomfort.